We are cops. Still. We are the cop brothers. I am cop one. I am a brother to the cop, also <laughs> called cop two, cop <laughs> brother. Welcome back to uh You're behind the wheel. Ooh, he's driving. He's driving. So this Looks this like is a DA's new quest we just started charge. today. A new and thing called you guys might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. A marriage made in heaven. No She's an easy make and the Good DA old likes marriage made in heaven. I'll convince him to let it. You may remember you last time a woman got hit by a car. A man got, hit by, man a got hit by a car. So we're gonna go investigate that shiz, yo. She is. As a reminder, I am not playing. I, I am fact I am man. The, I am the player. Fact man and accuser. I'm just the guy that yells, fuck you, he's lying all the time. He's the bad cop. I'm the bad cop. And Alex is like the, dude, calm down, cop. The good cop. You're not good. I'm good. I don't think you're good. I think you're like the chill out cop. Great cop. Well, I don't mean like, I'm not saying you're not good as in like- Best cop. You're, I don't think you're understanding. Hashtag perfect is that, dick. Is that... What's his name? Who? Uh, uh, oh God, Harris. What's his first name? Hey, that's that dude from uh, Mad Men right there. Everyone in this game's from Mad Men. Detectives, over here. Hello. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Because a white male named Lester Patterson walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, named Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. What? 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take What's wrong with Shannon? Place. Why is- right do now, I miss we'll that reference? I don't know. What is Shannon Perry? Alright, clue time. Clue time. Let's find some clues. Hat time. Show me something, baby. Show me something on the inside of the hat. Nah, nothing. No hat. No hat. No hat bros. No hat bros. This guy's hat's off to this guy. Well, let's go to the... The body. Helps. The body. Well, you should take a look at the body. I ended on his face and ended up here. Karma <sighs> struck him from behind. Oh. Brutal. Let's just uh, touch his nose. Give let's us... Touch his face a little bit. A little touchy touch. Move his face around. Just see what the deal is with his face. Doesn't seem like there's anything going on. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what's on his cuffs? Let's look at his cuffs. In that cuff zone. Doesn't seem like his cuffs. Check, check it like the inside of his coat or something. Right, right, Because right. I remember last time we yeah, found someone. Is up. We're back to the cuffs for a minute. <laughs> Alright. He just wasn't sure. He just wanted just to make really sure. Just wanted to get in there. I've watched LA Confidential twice since starting this game. Isn't it great? Yeah. Beard Rose homework. Go watch that movie. And if you're young, ask your mother. It's actually, I thought it was going to be way worse. Okay, so now we got this. Lester Patterson. Wallet. All right. Pattis Pattison. So we know who he is. So we can go talk to his wife. Lester Patterson. Sorry, Lester. Hope sorry, sorry, Mrs. Patterson. I'm sorry, Miss Patterson. Ooh, oh. I am for real. Check out the money. Dude. Anything behind? Just money. Nah, just money. Just money, baby. All right. All right, can I move Let's this? Let's put it away. No. Okay, what else? So we have his address. What about Can we the check other? the other pocket? Yeah, let's there see. There we go. What do we got here? What do we got, baby? Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Bloody letter. California Fire and Life Insurance. Life insurance. Receipt of your application. Weekly premium life insurance policy. Oh. What the fuck? Madison has life insurance. $16,000. So now we have a modem. Oh, wow. We have a good motive. Did I say modem? We, you said motive, but I think when we started this, though, it seemed like a hit and run, not like a hit intentional. But, I mean, who knows? Maybe he was pushed out into the street. That's real. Maybe the person driving the car was in cahoots with the person who pushed him into the street. All right, maybe that's it for the body. Uh, I can't, oh, we well, can't we look at We want to look at the other cuff, make sure. <laughs> you and the cuffs, dude. The time that his watch says the name of the murder on it, you guys are going to be so... I told you so'd by me. I told you so by Alex, the new brand of, uh... Alright. Of fragrance. <laughs> I told you what so. You got on the Ed Harris, that's the one. No, it's not oh, him. Oh, it's not him. Intoxicated at the time I recognize him, though. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. So he's drunk. What about the Stumbles chest? into the street. Is that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Oh. Ooh. That's so Coroner's awful. Coroner's report. Okay, so we have the coroner's report. That's tight. Exhibit A. Oh, C. Skin marks. Oh, man. 
body I hope I never see something feet. like this in real life. Is that a bad question of the day? What's the grisliest crime you've ever seen in real life? Yeah, let's not ask that question. Okay, what's the... What's your... What's your favorite murder mystery? What's, what's that over there to the right? This? There's B, then what's A? I don't know. It's I think it's tire tracks. The body. Car must have been going like a bat out of hell. Okay, so he got hit. Okay, wait. So he got hit over here and skidded that way. What's this blood? Unless he already had blood. Maybe. Maybe he already had a wound? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, what's your favorite murder mystery? That's a good question of the day. So the driver managed to break before the impact. Saw him coming. So maybe someone was trying to kill him ahead of time and then the cards finished him off. Uh, yeah, something like that, right? Check the trash can. Maybe there's something in there. <laughs> oh, there's a gun in here. Is all yours, detective? No, let's not talk to her yet. We're still, we're still like, investigating. Wait, what's on the floor? Is this thing on the floor? No, it's just paper. Okay, I can't, I can't check that Uh, thing. check the alley? Where did he come from? Another Keeps playing me chimes. Himself. Like, oh, ask, uh, can we talk to the dude in front of the car over there? To the left? This fellow over here? Yeah. We're not using intuition no points way, game. No way, no cheaters. No, nope, he, not him. He literally does not want to speak to me. Uh, maybe that guy over there. I, uh, let's check out the, the alleyway. Okay, but let me talk to this guy real quick. We, we didn't talk to this guy, right? No, he's just a... He's just a... Photographer dude. Okay. Alley time. Shut up. I don't come down to the station house and tap dance oh, stop that. it. I'm a traffic detect- Alright. <laughs> we got- Oh! Is that, is that a, a knife? a bloody knife? Oh! Ooh, look, I knew he was already injured. Check it around, check it around. Zoom in intensely. Knife covered in blood. Could be a what does it knife. say? This is a hit and run case. Star Else anyone could have thrown away. Stab right. <laughs> That's a stab In right. We'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. That's freaking great. Okay, so it, my suspicion was correct. What is that? Oh, just the knife again. I think I saw. Is there not something shiny right there? Am I crazy? Do you see that? I think you are on the ground. I don't see right anything. There? See that red thing? What is that? No, no, man. It was, it's a can. It's a can of tuna. Okay. What oh, what is here? this? Smokes? Can we zoom in? I don't think this is anything. Oh. <laughs> well, at least he was honest. Is this like possible? Is this possible? Are we just going up here now? Like, <laughs> is is it possible? Like, do we think it's possible that there's like a like like there could be clues on this roof? Is this like? No way. There's nothing up here. It doesn't look like there is. It's saving. Right. Yeah. It, we're in a get down. I think it's like, you left the crime scene? We're gonna go ahead and save it. <laughs> oh, that sounds disgusting. Hey, Phelps, did you get your tetanus shot, bro? <laughs> e. There's an evidence thing here. Right, because we found it. Oh, we found it. We, we found it. it. You see that? What? It, I swear to God, it's playing the chime. Alright. What do you think? Do we, is there new more... Is that... Is Wait, no more what's music? behind the- is it a car- no. The music's still here, we still haven't found everything. I like- do not hear the music. We have to hear the- Remember? Oh, right, right, right. He keeps playing- I think he just plays music when you're nearby a clue, but... Whether you've played it or not is... This? That's a bottle. That's a cigarette. What is that? Nope. Nope. It's a spark plug. Okay, bottle. Good to me. Okay. Do you think we should just start talking to witnesses? Maybe. I don't want to talk to her yet because I feel like every time we talk to like the person we're supposed to talk to, we move on with the plot. You want to go talk to Madman Bartender? Oh, yeah. Let's talk to people inside. Maybe they heard something. Madman Bartender is a madman guy. He's probably somebody to talk. You work the rest of the room. Oh. Yo. Let's jump into this real quick. Yeah, we have to. Shrink to the stars. Yo, he's a psychiatrist. Let's do it. All right. This is that same dude, right? Yeah. Courtney. Come in. My name is Kyle. Have a seat. I'm Kyle Reese. Thanks, doctor. Courtney. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's, uh, 
fine. Uh oh, that's a killer jacket. I think George McFly wore that jacket. Be honest with you, Doctor. Didn't he? Yeah, probably. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can unfortunately be very long term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. What the hell? Been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned to sanatorium. He's gonna get killed right now. We can reveal the root of the problem. Then we have a chance. This guy's obviously a villain. And until then, they stay sedated. Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. This guy's calling like a evil doctor on his shit. Sorry. Getting roasted. I don't mean to criticize. I don't. <laughs> Being a physician, <laughs> learning to be patient. Yeah, enjoy that cigarette, Doc. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? <laughs> many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. I import f illegal drugs, Courtney. Here to be illegal. I said, Courtney. Courtney, I said, I said, I that am. Dude, that dude's the villain. I smuggle illegal drugs, Courtney. I said. That dude's the villain. Let's take him out. <laughs> Let's talk to the. Uh, Let's go to his house. Shoot him. Who are you? Who are you, man, at the store? I'm talking to man. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be <laughs> a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. Dudley You're Lynch, right. okay. The owner ain't around. Did he, did, like, recover? Like, record owner? his dialogue? He stepped out. Somebody had like, to take more on his MacBook? No. This is Patterson Hall. Okay. So other than being Kinsey in uh, Mad Men, what else do you know about this hit and run incident? Let's ask him. Sir? All right. <laughs> what can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Uh, I doubt okay, that. hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, I doubt that. Why? Uh, all the heard was the impact? Look at him. He's like... Blue? Yeah, he's... I doubt that. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Okay. It's not that bad. Okay. Why would he, why would he try and hide that clue even? Yeah. I don't know. Why would you hide that clue? What are you thinking? All right. <laughs> you know I love that. Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. He seems like he's telling the truth. Yeah, to me. he's telling the truth. Right? Yeah. His I'm, face isn't even moving. Okay. Yeah, no, he's telling the truth. That's oh, fact. One of your favorite customers. Uh, Lester was special, but not my kind of special. What does that mean? Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. What? He didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. That's weird, right? Going out to drink with your wife? Oh, my God. Can we talk to him anymore? No, is that it? I think that's it. I don't think even we're allowed to. All right, you want me? You want me to do one more outside? Because I still haven't heard the sound. Have you heard the sound? No, we still got to find it. What are we missing? I don't know. Go towards them. Over. Go towards like the the line to the right with the cop behind you. Oh. Uh, no. <laughs> what are we? What are we looking for here? Checking out the cuff. Let me to check out the cuff again. No, no, we're fine, okay, dude. You know what? Let's talk to her. To her? Yeah. All right. What was that? Oh, it's probably for the blood. God. Okay. Let's just talk to her. The sound system, like, if I had to criticize this game for one thing, it's that the sound indications are, like, not that good. Yeah, you're there right. There should just be, like, a little icon in the corner that, like, shows you. Alright, here we go. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Like, almost looks like she's played by Peggy Olsen, but she is <laughs> It, like, is. Yeah. Can you tell us what It's, like, not her, but it, like, well, is her. I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Okay. That's the truth. That's the truth. It checks out with what the bartender said. Yes. She also she looks like almost proud I that she said it. Car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Okay. That's true. true. Suspect's vehicle what kind description. Of car was it? A 
Dark red, Lincoln Continental. Why does she know that so well? She's... That's the truth. She seems to be telling the truth. That's way too on point to... She looks so much like Elizabeth Olsen, but it's not That's her. true. It's just yeah, not her. The license plate? It's freaking me out. Only the first I can't help letters, it. I'm afraid. 3C8. 3C8. Wow. All right. Let's ask a her... truthful ass witness. Let's ask her about the argument over her. Okay, yeah, what's it about, baby? Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Uh, I doubt that. You know why? Because she looks like she just farted. I was going to tell you. <laughs> it's on her arm. Look at her arm. What's she doing? Oh, my God. She's grabbing her arm. She's like grabbing her doubting. arm. That means she's full of doubt. I doubt that shit, yo. Look at her. Doubt. All right. Why are you <laughs> holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. What the f- I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an God artist. damn, people are stupid. Things are pretty difficult. Cop you should just up, sister. We don't have all. You should nice. just audition for the roles that Elizabeth Olsen people auditions for. <laughs> they were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. Embarrassing for the man? You really think so? Yeah, we got all those right. I hope you find that driver and put him away. You know what? What? Are we... we certainly got away with Are the we done, or...? Helps. I guess? Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. Let's go talk to the, talk to the, the bartender again if we can. Yeah. Okay. Now we ask him about the argument we overheard. Because now we have more well, details. Overheard an okay. Argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? He just told me this. Alright, so he's <sighs> being a little bit shifty, but he also looks like he's just like happy. So I don't know. I I wanna say this cause he cause he he's doing a different thing than last time he was like like kind of not telling the truth. So do you think this is the lie animation? I no, I think he's doubt. You think I, I think should just doubt him I again? think it's doubt. I think if he was uh, if he was lying, if he was lying, we'd see a lot more eye rolls, a lot of eye contact that does not match what we're doing. <laughs> You're just turning into like Foghorn Leghorn. Yeah, from I know. I, right, I, right, say, right, I say, I right. say. Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on? She stabbed on him. Here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy. Leroy Sabo, the owner. Wait, hold on. So, wait, so let me get this straight. So he said that it was the wife and the husband arguing, and then he, then the husband fell into the street and got hit by a car. But now he's saying that she actually wasn't even here when, when he got hit by the car. Is that what we're saying? I think she was saying that he left. They left. After. They fought, and then she left. After and went home with the owner after they fart argued. What are you trying to tell us? Let's, let's ask him the joint business venture. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Uh, who knows? I just served the drinks. Doubt. <sighs> liar. Doubt. Liar. Doubt. Liar. Look at that. No, hold Look on. At Look at him. Look at him. Hold up. What? I know we've been doing a lot of doubt lately. Uh-huh. I still think he's doubting. You know why? Why? Because someone who's doubtful... Or rather, Smiles. they smile, and he's still maintaining eye contact with us. Usually, someone who lies can't like maintain. You think he's just not telling me the whole story? Yeah, I think he's. I think he, we have to doubt him. He's still like he's cat. Okay, I'm gonna doubt him. Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you gonna tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? They kind of like act like this in Mad Men too, which is great. Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. What? Thanks for your help, Link. Yes! I'm gonna need we to are champs. We Hash. are pros. Tag. Sure. Perfect no dicks. Problem. Perfect dicks. You, get anything you, out you really regular? warmed up to that. What? Perfect dicks? Away. Yeah. They I just imagine Lester that it's not like our actual okay, look. The other day. And Lester was so a they fan of the love tap. They fight all the time, and Lester's a wife beater. Uh, should we call to use the phone? We should call Les Sabo, right? For the address for Sabo? Yeah. 
And for California Fire and Life or whatever? Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through Something now. crazy's going on here. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need to run a partial license. Oh, yeah. Three Charles eight. Cross check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red. Lincoln How long did this shit take? Just a moment, Detective. I don't know. Only one possible make on that license. Jesus. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Shelton on Temple, Patterson on Hope, Sabo. We don't know. Got a break on this one. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna go after the cop. We're gonna go after the. Uh, let's go to the Shelton residence. Let's go to the Shelton residence next time on Beard Bros. Uh. Yeah. Shelton resident. Rev, rev, rev. Okay, I'm gonna try that again. Shelton residence next time on Beard Bros. Next time on Beard Bros. We're going to Shelton's house. Sheldon from Big Bang Theory. No one wants to see that. Check it out. No. Big Bang Theory. Great, they're not, they're not paying show. us. They're not paying to say this. NBC. Really funny. That is the wrong tag. <laughs> Everything about that was wrong. Are you gonna take the coroner's car? No, no, I'm not gonna take. You the were seriously gonna take the coroner's car. Look at these cars. They're the same goddamn car. Oh my god, you're right. Alright, they're not, but they're close. Next close. time on Beard Bros, I drive the right car. Later, man. Later, man. <laughs>